Okay, so we all know it's pretty darn normal to see a teenager texting on their phone, right? That's nothing new to that. But the question is, how damaging can texting actually be to their growth and development? Here to tell us more about the dangers of text neck is chiropractor. We have Dr. Jason Deitch. So, Dr. Jason, tell us, though, because, I mean, I know we are very commonly seeing this happen a we lot, are. right? And lack of interaction, which I know disturbs parents anyway. But when they're constantly doing this, this can actually lead to some developmental issues that's in the neck, right? That's exactly right. There okay. are some new conditions called tech neck syndrome or okay. text neck syndrome. And it's exactly what you described. It comes from prolonged forward neck flexion mm -hmm. and then over time forward head posture that happens as a result of us not being aware. Symptoms over time can include the obvious things like headaches, mm -hmm. neck pain, back pain, it can even include things like trouble breathing because our shoulders are forward, yeah. compressing our diaphragm and lungs. And as you said, it even leads to sometimes dis developmental disorders, things that they're now calling digital dementia. Really? And of course, can lead to things like uh, obesity, to children sitting around too long mm -hmm. on devices being sedentary mm -hmm. is the leading cause of childhood obesity. Yeah, you know, and the posture thing as a parent, I mean, that's incredibly concerning. Um, like, as you're mentioning, I mean, I, I imagine we see this too a little bit in adults. Uh, I suffer from migraines. I notice that if I'm on my office uh, computer a little too long or if I'm working in the field too long like this, I'll start to get those impacts. But I can only imagine for a young child who's doing this throughout their entire development, that, that muscle sensory recall, that whole poor posture development really starts to set in and greatly impact them as they grow into an adult. That's exactly what happens. There's a saying that says, as the twig is bent, so grows the tree. Yes. And, uh, and it does. Uh, and as chiropractors, we really focus on a condition known as spinal subluxation, vertebral subluxation. And it's what you described. Due to prolonged forward posture, it puts pressure on the front of the spine. They call it the anterior cervical spine. That causes early signs of osteoporosis. But mo wow. also is important, excuse me, uh, osteoarthritis, also as important is the neurological development. Mm -hmm. uh, conditions, as I said, like digital dementia, our cognitive ability, our ability to recall, um, are all impacted and affected by these neurological disturbances. Okay, so then as parents, what do we do? Well, there's really two things we can do. At home, we can create sort of a culture and environment of being aware of our posture, mm -hmm. having healthy posture at home, so using uh, stands for devices, okay. uh, making sure that instead of putting our devices on our stomachs, we mm -hmm. can put our elbows on our stomachs and look high. Okay. We can model that as adults so like we this. save our own health as mm -hmm. well as making sure our children are aware of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, uh, when parents see early signs of these different types of symptoms or concerns mm -hmm. or want to be proactive, taking them to a family chiropractor to get checked first and foremost is probably one of the best things to do to make sure they don't grow up with these issues that could have been handled as children, and then they grow up as adults to have these chronic disability issues. Right. Okay, Dr. Jason, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it, because I will tell you, I have a nine-year-old, and I have heard from time to time her complaining of a headache, especially like on a road trip when they're on the device for a long period of time in the back of the car, and oh, my head hurts. I'm like, turn your phone off and look out the window, yeah. right? Ah, thank you so much. You got it.